Uh, hi, everyone. I just wanted to say a quick thanks for joining us today at the Dashboard webinar. We're going to get started in just a few minutes here, just waiting on a few more people to join. Uh, but before we do get started, we just want to run through a few quick housekeeping items. The uh, webinar is going to start at 1 o'clock sharp and will run for about a half an hour until 1.30. Today's presentation will be recorded and we'll send it to you later this week, uh, but we'll also be posting it on our YouTube channel, so if you want to access it later on, you can. Our presenter today is Andy Yadigar, Fix's Head of Product Management and Delivery. Andy is going to be introducing you to the dashboard and telling you a bit about how and why we built it, and then take you through a live demo of all the awesome features and functionality. And then at the end, we'll answer any questions that you guys might have. Uh, if you do have questions during the presentation, you can just type them into the questions box on the GoToWebinar window on the right-hand side of your screen while Andy's presenting, and someone will get back to you with an answer either during the webinar or right after the presentation finishes during the Q&A period. Anyways, thanks again for joining us, and in just a few minutes here, I'm going to pass it over to Andy, and he will take it from there. All right, so it's 1 o'clock now, so for anyone new that's joining, welcome to the webinar. We're about to get started. Quick reminder that you can use the uh, question box on the right-hand side if you do have any questions during the presentation, uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to pass it over to Andy, and we are going to get started. Thanks, Meredith, and thank you for making time to attend the webinar today. My name is Andy Yadigar, and I head up the product management and development teams here at FIX. I joined FIX in 2016 after spending the last about 15 years designing and building products for some of the world's largest companies. <clears throat> here at FIX, I spend most of my time getting to know our users, walking a mile in their shoes, and listening to their feedback. This is a critical part of my job, as it puts the voice of our users at the center of everything we do at FIX. My team is made up of user advocates, subject matter experts, and engineers who build products that contribute to how our users can do their jobs more efficiently. In today's webinar, we'll focus on our newest addition to Fix CMMS, the new Fix dashboard, aimed at helping our users access the right data and key performance indicators to make the right decisions in real time. I'm going to give everyone a quick overview of this feature followed by an interactive demo. We'll have dedicated time at the end of this webinar to answer any questions you may have. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to use the tools provided to you in the webinar tool. Today, Fix CMS is used by over 10,000 users across 2,000 customers, and we sign up about 80 new customers per month. Therefore, the needs for quality data and its importance is becoming increasingly critical in making the right decisions at every level. Whether it's a technician accessing their daily rounds and scheduled maintenance, the manager keeping an eye on their maintenance team's activities and performance, or an executive high above evaluating the success of the execution of the maintenance strategy, the ability to see all the information in one place will allow for better, more informed decisions to be made in real time. Some of our customers are dedicating a lot of time and resources to sift through data manually to create metrics that allow for those decisions to be made. But the reality is that most of our customers don't have those in-house resources to put against these activities. So we've listened to our customers' needs and gathered their feedback and radically re-engineered and redesigned our CMS dashboard to provide instant access to the information they need real time. With this new dashboard, we didn't want you to spend your time setting up and designing pages and layouts. So we're providing ready-to-use pre-built visual dashboards out of the box that cater to the various maintenance roles who access our product. We're wrangling the right data and provide the right metrics to the right user to make the right decisions. What really makes this dashboard cool is how easy it is to use. And we're excited to be the first and only CMMS that provides this level of insight without the complexity that usually comes with it. I'm gonna cover this topic a little more in depth through the interactive demo, as well as show you these sample out of the box dashboards. Now the most exciting and powerful capability of our new dashboard is the flexibility and customization power it provides and puts it in the hands of our users. Whether it's the layout and positioning of the KPIs, their sizing, or the fine tuning of the data being accessed, you'll have the control of composing the right dashboard that meets your needs. And we don't expect you to know how to compose queries or mine data. 
We know you've got more important things to worry about, so we've got you covered there. In my demo, I'll walk you through examples on how to customize a dashboard as well. This fixed dashboard will also be providing, out of the box, a comprehensive list of key performance indicators available to our users. Some of these KPIs you see on the screen will be limited to the administrators and managerial use, and some are designed for the technician. At FIX, we're passionate about providing continuous value to our customers and users. This new dashboard is the starting point of more exciting analytics and business intelligence capabilities available to you as we continue to innovate and release new features in the near and midterm future. I hope this presentation gave everyone a good background and a story and some introduction on our new dashboard. I'm now I'm gonna switch over to the demo, but before I do that, please note that none of the, none of the data that I'm gonna go through uh, is customer data, and all the information here is to really demonstrate the functionality of the new dashboard. So let's look, at, let's look at the look and feel. So this dashboard, as we can see, is composed of uh, different KPIs with different charts and different colors and different ways to really convey uh, key alerts and key numbers that allow you to make, make the right decisions and action on them. On the right-hand side of the dashboard is what we call the work order backlog. And what this is, is really is, is a backlog of all the maintenance activities that are currently happening within the CMS. We've broken this backlog into four different sections. We'll show you what's happening this week as far as what work orders are coming up and any scheduled maintenance that are upcoming. We show you all of the draft of work orders that you still need to work on before you assign to anybody, any work requests that are coming in, and anything that's late so that you can, you can action them properly. Now let's look at some interactivity of this dashboard. So all of these KPIs that show whole numbers are interactive. So let's pick one for example. The high priority work order here shows that, that there currently are four work orders that are, that are obviously of high importance. Now by just clicking on the, on the widget, I'm now taken to a list of those four high priority work orders, which I can now click through and action. And I've done this without having to worry about anything other than looking at those KPIs on the dashboard. Let's go back to the dashboard and look at other ones. The same interactivity happens with the work order backlog. So all of these work orders that are showing up in here are also interactive. So I can actually click on any of these work orders, drill into that work order, so I can see exactly what's happening and make the right decision and, make the, and, and actually have the right actions associated to it. Now this is, like I said earlier, this is the, the administrator dashboard that's available out of the box. But I'll also show you the technician one. The technician is much simpler because it's really catered around giving access to the technician to what they need to do so they can get at it quickly. So the information in here is a lot more task oriented. But the same thing happens in here. All these KPIs, the show hold numbers are interactive and I can click through them. Now let's go back and, and look at the, the, the multi-site capability of this dashboard. We have a lot of customers that have either multiple plants or sites or globally distributed. And the same executives, the same administrators have uh, the same interest in seeing high level information about their, their CMS, but also are interested in diving deep into each of those sites and seeing the same metrics with regards to those sites. Now this can happen with our dashboard without the need for you to log out, log back in as a different user, or do anything custom. I'll give you an example. So this, is, this particular dashboard is for all these sites for the, for the, for the CMS. But now I can actually just click in on, on, on the site selector and choose a specific site, and the dashboard re-renders itself and shows the information based on that site's data. That applies to the KPIs that I'm seeing in the dashboard, as well as the work order backlog. And I can, I can flip through these sites, and I can see that information for each site. I'm gonna go back up to the all site, and let's talk about customization. So I focus most of my demo on this out of the box dashboard, but what if I needed to add more to it? And again, the, the power of, of the customization really comes in, in handy here. When I go into edit mode, I have access to all of those KPIs that I mentioned in my presentation that are available out of the box. And I have the option of choosing any of these as many times as I want to. I'm gonna pick one as an example here to add to this dashboard and as the meantime to repair. This particular widget is very interesting because you know a lot of our customers 
are currently spending a lot of time offline sifting through data, make the right calculations to come up with that one number. With our dashboard, I added that widget on the screen. When I save my dashboard, um, that number is, is available to me in real time. That's the number that is based on real time data so that my maintenance team starts to improve or enhance or, or, or change their performance habits. That number gets impacted in real time. Let's take that customization a little further. I created a new custom dashboard and I built it because I wanted to focus on two key metrics for my, my maintenance team. One was around schedule compliance and the other one overdue work orders. And I'm really interested in two groups in my maintenance team, PV technicians and supervisors. And I've already built out how I want my schedule compliance to look like, but I'm going to compose the overdue work orders here at the demo. So let me go ahead and access that same widget list that I did earlier. I'm going to add the overdue work orders. As you notice now, I've got three of these widgets added. I'm going to move the one I just added. I'm going to resize it because this is going to be my overall one. And I'll just move the other ones next door to it because that's how I want my layout to be. When I save the dashboard, all the default values are applied to these, to these widgets. I'm going to keep the one I just added as, as, as an overall one. And I go to the other one, and I want this to only show me overdue work orders for my supervisors. So I go into the customization mode, and I apply a user group filter, my supervisors. When I save it, now that widget is only concentrating on overdue work orders for my supervisors. So you just saw, with just adding a couple of widgets multiple times, I'm now able to have some side-by-side -side comparison of some key performance indicators on my dashboard. This now concludes my demo. I hope you could really see the power of, of, of our new uh, dashboard through this demo. As I mentioned earlier, we are continuously innovating, and we look forward to improving usability and, and, and performance of this dashboard as we build out this feature in a near and midterm future. All right, uh, so thanks for that awesome presentation, Andy. Um, while you were doing that, we've had a few questions come in during the presentation, and we're just going to take some time to go through them and answer them now. So the first question that we had uh, that came in was, when will the new dashboard features be available? So the dashboard is available as of this morning, and it's available to all of our current pricing tiers. Uh, okay, so you kind of uh, answers that question. Uh, the second one that we got here is, is there an extra cost to get access to the new dashboard? Absolutely not. We, we do not charge per feature. And so the dashboard is available to all fixed users that are on our current pricing plans. OK, great. Uh, and how many dashboard templates are there? So there are currently three dashboard templates. I showed you the administrator and manager dashboard template and technician. We have also one available for purchasers. Uh, all right, we have a couple more questions coming in here. Uh, so someone asked, what if there are KPIs that I would like on my dashboard that you don't have available? So we currently have a backlog of KPIs that we're building, and we're going to continue, continuously building and using new KPIs to the dashboard. Uh, but if there are certain KPIs that are custom to your needs, we have a, a customer support team that you can get in contact with. They will take the, your needs and give you information, and we'll add, we'll add that KPI to our backlog of uh, KPIs to add. Uh, all right, so we have a question here that says, is there a user view feature available to administrators to show in real time what the dashboard and entire fixed environment uh, that you're building for other groups? Um, I, think, I, I think I know what the question is saying. So let me, let me talk about one of the features that we're working on. So we currently, when you, when you create a dashboard, uh, it's created for the user. So if I create a dashboard for myself and customize it, it is saved for me. We are working on it in our, our midterm plans to provide the ability for the administrators to create dashboards for others. For example, I can create a dashboard and, and give it to my, to my technicians and customize it for them. So I think that's what the question is. Uh, hopefully my, my answer was a proper one. All right, uh, sounds good. Uh, so someone else just uh, asked, is it possible to filter dashboard by facility? We have several facilities with one, within one site and it would be helpful to be able to filter by facility. Right, so we currently, as you saw in the, in the demo, we can filter dashboard by sites. Um, my, my answer to that would be, uh, please get in touch with our customer support team. I'm not sure how you set up your data right now uh, on, on the webinar, 
But if you contact us and, and go through your, your setup with our CS team, they can look at it and they can give you some, some, some uh, help in, in making sure that your data are displayed properly. Uh, okay. Uh, someone just asked, will the dashboard on the tablet also be updated? Right. So there's a couple of ways you can access uh, fixed CMS on a tablet. One is through the browser that will take you to the same exact CMS that, that I demoed today. The other one is a, is a mobile app. So we are currently working on improving a mobile app that will mirror some of the functionality of our, of our dashboard. In the meantime, if you need to see that dashboard on a tablet, you can definitely access it through, our, through the tablet, through the browser, and you will have the exact same experience that I went through. Okay, uh, thanks. So someone here has asked, what about tracking downtime using the current dashboard, the new dashboard? So we currently, in our, in our uh, current list of KPIs, we have two uh, downtime KPIs. One is uh, offline count. Second one is the current asset offline widget. We are working on other more scientific downtime KPIs that are on our, on our to-do list uh, in the midterm future. Okay, uh, we've had a bunch more questions come in here, uh, which is great. So just a few more uh, to get through here. Uh, we just had someone ask, when you build a custom dashboard, can you share it with other users? Right. So this kind of uh, similar to what I said earlier on around distribution. Uh, we currently do not have the, that capability. We are working on it so that you can start creating templates and sharing with others. Uh, it is definitely on a roadmap of, of things to come. All right. Uh, someone here has asked, can we customize the RFQ form? Um, right. So that's, that's a question I would say we can definitely... Uh, direct to our customer support team. Uh, we do have a backlog of, of continuous improvements that, 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 that we, we continuously add to our product. Uh, they'll be more than happy to take your requirements and pass it along and we'll, we'll include that in our roadmap as well. Uh, is there a possibility to make dashboards per facility and is there a cost associated with it? So there is zero extra cost to have dashboard for different facilities. It all comes down to how you've set up your CMS if you're set up as a multi-site CMS, the dashboard will automatically uh, just be applied to the way your sites work. Uh, we've had actually a few people have asked uh, that they don't see the new dashboard when they're logging in in their view, uh, and isn't it supposed to be available today? So can you just speak to that? So for that, the best people to answer those questions would be your account manager. So I highly encourage you to get in touch with them, and they'll know your setup better than I do, and they can help you. Uh, they can help you further. Okay. Uh, and then a point of clarification, you spoke about the current pricing tier earlier, so can you just clarify what current pricing tier means? Absolutely. So if you visit our, our website, fixsoccer.com, and go to our pricing page, you will see the, the list of our, our pricing tiers and our pricing plans. Dashboard is, will be available to all of those. Okay. Uh, just a few more, almost done here. Uh, can we create our own widget KPI, or are the only widgets available the ones that Fix has created? So. For now, the KPIs will be available through FIX. Uh, the ability for customers to create KPIs is definitely on our backlog. Again, it's something that we're including as part of our distribution strategy going forward. Uh, can the new dashboard show open work orders that are assigned per user? Yes. All right, that's easy enough. Uh, and then the last question uh, is actually one that I can speak to. Someone said, will we be getting a copy of the webinar that we can refer back to? Uh, and the answer to that is yes, we are recording this webinar and we will be distributing it later this week so that you can have it uh, for your own personal records. And like I said earlier, we will also be posting it to our YouTube channel if you uh, ever lose that link and you need to uh, access the webinar for any further information. Uh, so I just want to say uh, thank you, Andy. Uh, hopefully that Q&A was helpful in clearing up some of the questions you guys may have had about the new dashboard. Uh, just a reminder that if we didn't get a chance to get to your question today, that we are going to be having people following up with everyone who attended the webinar. And we will, as I said, be sending out the recording as well. Uh, and if you'd like, you can also reach out directly to our sales team uh, at salesatfixsoftware.com if you'd like, or speak directly, like Andy said, to your account manager if you have questions about getting set up with the dashboard. So that's it for us today. Uh, and everyone from everyone here at Fix and myself, we just want to say thanks for joining us, and we will be in touch with all of you very soon. Thanks, everyone.